This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, both present here in the church and all also connected with us through social media, the liturgy of the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time is all about uh, Jesus' teaching in parables in 13th chapter of Matthew. Jesus was teaching uh, his disciples and people using parables because he knew that one picture is better than a thousand words. And in the gospel today, we have three of them, three parables. But the first one is the fundamental, and the second and the third uh, are kind of uh, further explanation. So the first one, first one is about the good seed and the weeds. In this parable, Jesus is explaining very fundamental spiritual fact, uh, which was well known uh, even in Old Testament, that we live in the reality uh, where the good is present and the evil is present. We receive the gift of life from God, but the evil is always trying to destroy uh, our lives. This is the nature of, of weed. Uh, weed is uh, trying to destroy the harvest, to, to limit uh, growth of good. So, uh, when uh, disciple, the, the, the uh, servants of the Lord uh, notice that mm, there is some wheat among the wheat, they ask the owner about the reason why this wheat is here or where this wheat comes from. And the explanation is, very simple and clear, an enemy has done this. Sometimes people accuse God of evil. No, enemy, evil has done this. And then they asked him another question, do you want us to go and pull them up? And he said no, because if you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. But what is interesting uh, in this uh, parable, Jesus, when he used the word weed or weeds, he used a specific, uh, specific one, uh, which uh, the name of this wheat uh, explains the specific wheat which is very similar to the wheat. And like the gospel says, when the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. So we see that uh, weeds appeared at the last stage of, of the whole process. And this specific wheat uh, used in this parable by Jesus is like that. It's so similar to the wheat. It's impossible to distinguish what is wheat, what is weed. So imagine the moment of fruits. Fruits are coming. And we expect all good fruits and all of a sudden we see surprise. That's also described uh, how evil is doing or working. Evil ca can wait a long time being uh, not recognizable. And in the last critical moment, it shows up. And sometimes it could be too late. We can lose many things.
but we need to remember that uh, the end belongs to God. Like Jesus said, uh, God will send his angels to do the, the harvest. To do the harvest and separate weeds from wheat. My dear friends, this reality was present since the beginning of the world. But we need to read this gospel uh, every year, every time, uh, in different way, because time changes. And this year is different than last year. So when we hear this parable, we also need to uh, understand this parable in the context uh, in which we live today. And what we can notice, we can see how Jesus' uh, teaching is true, even deeper than last year, for example, because we see uh, the real reality where we live in, reality full of unrest, nervous pressure, injustice, and moral disorientation. How many people, they don't know what is true today. And no wonder evil is working all the time. If we can look at last 50 years, we see uh, the fruits of evil. For example, abortion is calling today woman health issue. Healing is health issue. Immoral behaviors today are normal. And we hear today some new normal is coming. What kind of truth we are going to lose? Or what kind of truth will be destroyed? What kind of our freedom will be taken away from us? We'll see. But what we should do? And Jesus answered that question. Be aware that weeds are among you. But first of all, you must be focused on your own growth. Let wheat wait until the harvest. Take care for your own spiritual life. And this was mentioned uh, in both first and second reading. First reading, Book of Wisdom. God is source of wisdom and truth and justice. And repentance is required when we don't follow his ways. We see in today's world how world is rejecting God openly. Openly. We see this in this country, in many other countries today. It was, it is something new. So we see this, I would say, fruitfulness of evil or evil fruitfulness so present today. So when we read Exactly the gospel, we can think, we can assume that the tar harvest time is coming shortly, it's close. And in the second reading, St. Paul is asking our, us to be aware of the Holy Spirit present in our lives, who is working in us according to God's will. My dear friends, in Psalm 119, uh, we can find a uh, prayer of King David. He was aware about the reality. He knew that evil is always uh, present and trying to destroy the good. He was praying that way. Princess persecute me without reason. But my heart reveres only your word. Beautiful words we can use for ourselves. 
because we are persecuted now in many ways, and we will be even more. We need to stand for God's truth. We need to revere in our hearts only God's word. This way, we can be like Jesus said in the, in the gospel, we will be, we will shine like the sun in the, into the kingdom of our Father. Amen.